So let's talk about some of the differences between the Hisense U8K and the TCL QM8. I'm gonna dive right in without wasting any of your time, but essentially the Hisense is the better pick. Now I'm gonna explain why, so smack like on this video if you're just getting to the point, spitting it out, and subscribe if you like that kind of thing, because that happens often here. Now, why I say it's better is because in terms of picture quality, you're just not going to be able to control color specifically as good as you can on the TCL as you can on the Hisense. So Hisense, the way they approach color management is in a way of hue, saturation, and luminance, where TCL kind of goes the approach of RGB, red, green, and blue. Now, if you aren't really into the whole enthusiast home calibration or professional calibration scene, you're not gonna know what the hell I'm talking about. In English, Hisense gives you more accurate control over how to adjust colors and that leads to better color. In addition to that, Hisense tends to do a better job of maintaining better colors out of the box, where TCL is a little bit more muted this year. Um, not really something that I can say is like everybody's favorite, especially because quantum dots are the promise of more color. That's why we buy QLED TVs, TVs with quantum dots. Nobody buys those TVs because we want to see less color or less vibrant or saturated color. That's literally the appeal of quantum dots. So that is what I would say there. The other issue that kind of comes into play then is the black level performance. I did notice that both TVs are good with black level, but Hisense is like better by a lot in the terms of, I don't see any blooming whatsoever. Like there isn't like the faintest bloom where I could see a little, again, from time to time on TCL, not like, oh my God, it's terrible. Nothing like what you'd see on Sony or LG or any of the other guys, but it definitely was something that I noticed comparatively having reviewed both TVs that Hisense just does better with black levels. Now, counteractively, TCL is just brighter. They are the brighter TV by far, but they do have more problems. I've noticed people are having issues with screen flickering issues. I had that little weird grid LED issue. So TCL's quality control is still every bit as dodgy as it has quite frankly always been. And that's not going away. Now, Hisense isn't perfect either. They have some connection issues when you use an HDMI splitter. So if you're somebody that has a multi-screen setup, it's gonna be problematic. Now, I also noticed some motion jitters on the Hisense comparatively to the TCL from my experience reviewing both. The TCL is smoother by far. If you love motion, that's the TV you're gonna run to because Hisense is just not on that level. Motion on the TCL is just super clean, super slick. Where on Hisense, there are motion jitters from time to time. Now, if you're on PS5 and you're playing the games in performance mode, you're not gonna notice any issue whatsoever. But if you go to like fidelity mode and you know, you're know you going more towards the 30 FPS, you're gonna notice a lot more motion abnormalities from time to time on Hisense than you will on TCL comparatively. Same thing can be said about movies. It's just smoother on the TCL. So that is something that you are gonna have to weigh up when you're determining like which one of these two to buy. In terms of the design, I'd say Hisense is a little bit more practical because you can put a sound bar underneath where TCL is flush to the table and you kind of can't do that. However, aesthetically, TCL obviously looks way better. Not just the frontal design, but the back design as well with the way that they kind of design it and the speakers and all that stuff. As far as which speakers sound better, I would say quite honestly, TCL speakers sound better than Hisense as well. I think Hisense, it's not like their speakers sound bad, but you do have to crank them a bit more than you would on the TCL. And I feel like TCL wins in that area. Now, another area that I think Hisense maybe can do a little bit better is the remote. The remote is just dated. TCL's remote is so much nicer. It feels a lot more like an elegant rich man's TV. Um, again, where Hisense feels a little bit lazy at this point because it's the same remote that we've been seeing for years out of, Hi out of Hisense. So I think they can do a lot better than that. Um, but in terms of like, again, the most important thing, like picture quality, like you're going to have the better experience on the Hisense as far as visually. There honestly is no comparison once you actually try to dial in the Hisense. It's just going to go to an entirely different level and look absolutely fantastic. So I find myself in one of these predicaments where I know a lot of people are going to be angry with what I say, but I'd say it not it's not necessarily as black and white as one is better than the other. There are categories to it, right? So I'll just kind of do a quick overview before we end the video. So if you're somebody that values picture quality above all else, the picture quality on the Hisense U8K is better. If you're somebody that values motion, the motion on the TCL is going to be better. If you're somebody that values internal television speaker quality, the TCL is going to be better for that. If you're somebody that values brightness, the TCL is going to be better for brightness as well. If you're somebody that values quality control, they're basically going to have to go to Hisense because that's going to be 
the better quality control there. Um, and in terms of operating system and things like that, they're the same. It's not really, you know, it's, it's pretty universal. So with that in mind, you're really going to have to weigh up just how important these things are to you. Also, um, from a calibration perspective, Hisense is the one to go to. So if you're more of an enthusiast calibrator and you want to get better, more accurate image quality or things that just look more real to life, Hisense is going to be better. In terms of clarity, if you like a sharper image, Hisense is also going to be better for that. TCL wasn't quite as sharp as what I saw on the Hisense. And immediately I noticed Hisense just has this like tack sharp nature to it. That's just super enjoyable. So hopefully by explaining this, this is going to help understand the real differences between the two without a kind of like very subjective side by side. This is just honestly what you're going to notice as you're going between the two. Um, if you have questions about the two based off of my experience reviewing both of them, let me know and I'll help you find the information that you need so that you're not wasting your money because God only knows it's hard to find money these days to splurge. So we're not trying to waste it on some garbage that we don't want to basically be stuck with. So that being said, I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks for watching. And until the next video, I'll see you guys later.